Hey guys, Avery here with Skip's Tactical Solutions, and I'm here with another episode of Talk To Me Thursday. As you guys come on, please let me know where you are joining from. Hey guys, as you come on, please let me know where you're joining from. Hey Afro. Hey Ricardo, how are you? Rick Blair joining from Kentucky. Hey, Deanna, how are you? Happy Thursday to you as well. Hey, Range Chick. Thanks for joining. Valen, hey, thanks for joining from Chicago. That's good, Deanna. I hope that you guys are having a great day and it is almost Friday. Um, Ranch Chick said, how are you? I'm doing great. I am doing great. I'm working on a lot of things. So I'm saying very busy. As you guys come on, let me know where you are joining from. So tonight's topic is going to be optics. Erin, hey, thanks for joining from Delaware. Oh, Rain Chic, I didn't know that you're in Pennsylvania. So for all you guys that are on Facebook, Thanks for joining, and as I tell you guys every week, thank you for sharing. Every week, if you share the live video, you will be entered to win a free Skips Tactical Solutions t-shirt or tank top. And this week's winner is Jennifer Helmick. Sorry, I hope that I said that right. So please go to my website, pick what shirt you like, and send me a message with your shirt info and your address, and I will get a shirt sent out to you. I appreciate you guys for sharing the videos every single week and I show my appreciation by sending you guys a shirt. So if you did not win this week, it is a-okay because you still have time to win because you can just share this week's episode. So make sure that you share the video, comment down below, shared, and you will be entered to win a free shirt. And... Uh, for those of you guys who are still joining, this week's episode will be about optics and low power. We're going to do low power and then we're going to do red dot reflex sights as well. Um, A couple quick announcements, I guess. So I had a new podcast episode drop. I think it was yesterday. So if you have not listened to my podcast please go and listen to my podcast. The podcast is called Skip's Tactical Solutions. And you can find my podcast in all major, well, really all podcast players. So if you don't have a podcast player, it also has a website. And I think it's lipson.com slash Skip's Tactical Solutions. And everybody loves a good YouTube page. So you can head over to my YouTube page. And all of my podcast episodes are on my YouTube page as well. This week's episode was about your why, and I thought that was really important. Um, all 2019, I'm focusing on going back to the basics, and I want to make sure that you guys are focusing on the basics as well. So this episode was all about knowing your why. So I would love to know what you guys thought about this week's episode. Feel free to send me your thoughts. And as you guys come on, I would love to know where you're joining from. And if you have any questions, just let me know what your questions are as well. Um, I want to give a really quick shout out to someone this week. This week's shout out is for Miss Bonnie 
over at Guncraft mm -hmm. Inc. in Ruskin, Florida. So Bonnie owns Guncraft and she is a female. She's probably one of the coolest females I've ever met. And we were at the ranch this weekend and she was very accommodating and I wanted to tell her thanks because I don't have a lot of time. So <laughs> I don't really have a lot of time to actually go to the range. So I really appreciate Bonnie for being very accommodating. And if you are in the Tampa, Florida area, please go check them out. Really nice outdoor range, really great people. And let's just show Bonnie and Guncraft some love. And I mean, when I talk about how accommodating she was, I mean, they were actually close and she sat there on her day off and she just let me shoot some videos and she didn't rush me either. <laughs> so I really appreciate her and her husband as well. You guys are awesome. Sorry, guys. Alrighty, so Jennifer, thanks for sharing the video. Everyone else, you still have time. And let's just hop right on into this week's episode. Jennifer, hello, thank you for joining. Steven, thank you for joining from North Carolina. Lisa, hey, how are you? I have not seen you in a bit. Thanks for joining. Dexter, thank you for joining as well from Concord, North Carolina. Hey, Rob, thanks for joining. Chantel King from Indiana, thank you for joining as well. All right, guys, so make sure that you share the live video so that you can be entered to win a free shirt. Scuba said, where are you located? And tell us something that we do not know about you. Hmm. Um, I'm located in Tampa, Florida. Something that you guys don't know about me. I would love to know some things that you guys, um, I guess either, oh, I don't know if I want to do this. Either some, some things that you guys think about me or some things that you guys think that you know about me. And then at the end of this week's episode, I'm gonna share some things. Uh, I think I'll just share a fun fact about me. If it's something that I didn't see that you guys shared. And as you guys come in, you can feel free to let me know where you are joining from. And if you ask a question and I don't get to answer your question, you can always send me a message, especially if you're on Instagram. I may not be able to get to it within the 24 hours. And um, if I can't, then send me a message. I have lots of people that send me messages. And when they send me messages, then I get to them when I get to them. Some I get to them quicker and some I do not get to them as quick. But first things first, we're going to talk about these optics. Let's see if anyone... CC, thank you, ma'am, for joining and for sharing. Vic, hey, how are you? Oh, and something else that I want to let you guys know is last week I announced all the winners for the giveaway and my Instagram would not upload. I was having some issues with my Instagram page this week, so I went live a couple times and they would not upload. So I think I was able to fix that. I guess we'll see tonight. But if you guys do not catch a live from me, you can always go to my YouTube channel and there you will be able to catch the video as well. I'll upload these lives to the YouTube channel. Well, let me get some, some, some of my juice real quick. <laughs> All right. So like I said, if you guys have questions, feel free to drop them below. And even if you're watching this on the replay, I would love to know what you guys think. If you have any questions, drop them down so that I can answer them for you. I try to give as much free content as I can because I know not everyone can take a class with me, but all of you guys that are wanting the information absolutely need the information. And if you're on Instagram, feel free to hit that little arrow button below and you can send this to a friend or family 
or foe. You can send it to anyone and let them get in on a little bit of this knowledge as well. All right, so we are going to talk about optics tonight. I had someone send me a message and they asked about optics or scopes. So we're going to talk about them tonight. Hey guys, thanks for joining. As you come in, please let me know where you are joining from. All right, so we're gonna talk about two of the most popular options, which are red dots, which also include reflex sites, and then we're also gonna talk about low power variable optics, okay? Also known as LPVOs. Alrighty guys, are you guys excited to talk about optics? And if you don't know anything about optics, it's okay because you're going to learn a little bit tonight. And then maybe after tonight, you might want to go over to my website, which is skipstacticalsolutions.com and buy an optic. <laughs> All right, so Instagram is pretty excited about talking about these optics. So we're going to go ahead and get started in talking about optics. So we're going to talk about pros and cons because obviously everything has a pro and a con but we're going to cover the red dot and the reflex first. So when it comes to red dot sites, they're, uh, a pro for them is that they're lightweight. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm carrying a gun or even when I'm just at the range, I don't want something that is really heavy, right? So we know the more stuff that you add onto the gun, the heavier it's gonna start to get. So if it's an AR, they already have a good bit of weight, right? Then you add in a magazine and then you add the other accessories onto it. So these can be lightweight. So for the red dot reflex, I'm going to be using a hollow sun 510. This is what I will be using tonight. All right, so with these, they have a wide field of view. When I say field of view, it's you're looking through it and the field of view is wide. And parallax free. And also it helps you with fast target acquisition. So when you're trying to acquire your target, you don't want to be, oh, let me, let me get this right. You don't want to be doing all of that, right? So these are definitely going to help you with that. Um, <clears throat> another thing we're going to get into is the cons. Cons, cons, cons. Everybody loves those, right? So these are going to be primarily for short, um, uh, mid range, and they can be paired with, uh, extender, well, sorry, magnifier when you're shooting at extended ranges. So when you're using a red dot, if you're going to be hunting and it's going to be long range, you're, I mean, you're not really going to want to use a red dot. Completely up to you, but you may not want to. Um, this is something that's going to be nice to use when you're on your local range and you're shooting. Um, when it comes to these, there are a few. Well, there's a lot of different products that are out there, a lot of different options, right? But some examples are Hollow Sun, and this is a Hollow Sun. There is also Eotech, Vortex. And when it comes to Hollow Sun, I don't know if you don't know about these products, Hollow Sun is really killing the game right now. They have a lot of new technology that's coming out. And this new technology, I mean, they even have um, optics that work with people that are colorblind. They have Shake Awake technology. And you're on the range, you're shooting, and maybe you may step away, right? You're after a while, or when you're putting it in your bag, if you forget to turn it off, then it's gonna power off. And then once you start to move it, then it's gonna power back on. So shade to weight technology, solar power. I wanna say this puppy is about 50,000 hours, long time. So hollow sun. And I'm going to do a review video on these. You guys have to excuse me because your girl don't have a lot of time. But I've been meaning to put a video out, a video out about these. <laughs> but um, really great pod products. 
but you have the hollow sun, which is they have ones for your rifle and then they have some for your pistol as well. So I'll show you both. So um, they have green and red dot. Some people prefer green, some prefer red. Your green is going to, they say your green helps, um, your eye will be able to pick it up quicker than it will with red. Some people still love red, but it all depends on what you like. But this one is the 503. And then, so these are all products that I have in stock. <laughs> and this one is the 510C which was the one that I was showing you. This is the 510C. So if you've ever seen me with my Wonder Woman AR, this is what I run on my Wonder Woman AR. Um, Which is the green dot, and I have to tell you, I absolutely love the green dot. And then this is a new one, not really new, new, but it is killing the game right now. So this is the 507C. These are very hard to come by, but, I think I have three or four in stock. <laughs> uh, these are great and these are for your pistol. So this is a uh, red dot for your pistol and it is very reasonably priced. I'm not going to say the price right now cause I can't remember it, but it's definitely within the 300s. <laughs> really great option. Um, I haven't put one on mine yet just because I'm trying not to throw one on mine because I want to keep them to where you guys can purchase them. All right, so that was the red dots, red, green dot. Um, did you guys learn anything? And Something else that I want to tell you guys is you don't have to spend a lot of money to have a quality product. I'm all about pushing the quality products. Every single product that is on my website is because not only do I use that product, but I also think that, well, I use it, but it's also a quality product, right? I trust it as well. So I wouldn't push anything to you guys that I'm not willing to use myself, but everything that is on my website is something that I use. Even the shirts. I wear my own shirts. If you guys see me out and about, you'll see me sometimes in one of my shirts. But Hollow Sun, very nice. Very nice. I don't know if you guys can see the, the green dot. Alrighty then. So went over the red dots, reflex sites, um very popular if you have questions um feel free to send them uh, but it all depends on what you want the product for not um every product isn't for the same thing hey jeff thanks for joining all right so next we're going to get into the low power variable optics i guess we'll start with the pros what do you guys say yeah we'll start with the pros so the pros is that it has a magnification. And when I say magnification, this is going to be for when you're at the range and you are shooting and you need to be able to shoot long range, but also identify your target, right? You're going to be able to magnify it in. So I'm moving it, magnify it in. And then you can also go out, in and out. All right. So I'm able to move this, adjust it, go in out for my magnification and that's definitely good for long range shooting and you can be able to zoom in and out and you can be able to acquire your target and it can be used against across all different engagement areas so this is something that you can use short range you can also use this long range as well and a con yeah we're going to get to the cons guys so a con is with this it's going to add more weight. So you can just simply look at them and see that they are, that they're going to weigh different, right? So the example that I'm using now is a primary arms ACSS 1x8, and this is for 556, 308. Let me show you guys. 556, 
five, six, and three oh eight. So it also has a mount, right? So you have to think about the fact that you're not going to be able to throw a scope on your gun just by itself. It's going to have to be mounted on there and that's going to add more weight. So adding more weight when you already have a rifle and it may be a little heavier, if that's what you want, then okay, but not everybody wants a lot of weight. But like I said before, that's why you have to know what you want it for. Because if it's hunting, you're going to be stationary, that's fine. If you're at the range and you're going to be stationary, that's fine. But if it's something and you're doing drills and you're up, you may not want to add that additional weight. So that is one con. So with this, this is, like I said before, the Primary Arms ACSS 1x8. Um, I wrote down the weight. So the weight for this is 17 ounces without the mount. And then whenever you add the mount to this, now it goes to 25, all right? So that's a difference. Not saying that it's a huge difference, but um, that's definitely a significant number. Sorry, guys. Another thing is the eye relief. So with these, it's going to have to be closer to your eye for you to be able to really see through it well. Um, when I say closer to your eye, it's going to have to be up here for me to be able to see, right? But then the other thing is with this, I can have it out. Sorry. With this, I can have it out more, right? And I can still be able to acquire my target. This is going to have to be up closer. And then the field of view. So the field of view is your, your field of view, what you can see, right? This it's going to be a smaller field of view. Let's see if you guys. The field of view here is definitely going to be smaller than this field of view. And I'll let you guys see this field of view. Um, definitely wider. All right, so tonight I talked about optics and then we went into the two most popular kind. It's going to be your low power variable optics and then there's also your red dot and your reflex. Um, mm -hmm. Totally depends on what you want it for, but I know for me, um, I don't really do a lot of long range shooting, but if I needed to do long range shooting, I know exactly what I need to go for. And... I'm more of a short range, and for me, Hollow Sun is definitely the best for me, best bang for the buck. I, I've said this tons of time, guys. Like, I'm balling on a budget. <laughs> All of these products that you see me use, uh, your girl bought them. So, I am a dealer for Hollow Sun. If you guys have any questions about Hollow Sun, if you guys would like to purchase some Hollow Sun, you can go to my website, um, which is skipstacticalsolutions.com. And like I said, I want to do a video on the Hollow Suns here soon. And I'll do a video um, reviewing other optics, not just Hollow Sun. But I definitely want to get some things up just so you guys can see and not just hear what other people are using because there's a ton of different things out there and you don't always have to spend a ton of money to get a quality product. Let me look at some of these questions real quick. If you guys have questions or comments, feel free to drop them below. Hey, Adoria, thank you for joining. Evergreen Jason said, am I EOTech fan? Hmm. <laughs> yes, so I do like their products. The only thing is the price point. Price point is pretty up there. Um, I've used EOTex for probably about the last 10 years uh, in my normal job. And for my personal life, I can get a quality product and not have to pay the price point that you're going to pay when it comes to an EOTech. Um, Art to Guns. Hey, Art. Thank you for joining. The 512. 
Yeah, so guys, if there are any products from Holosun that you would like to order, feel free to shoot me a message because I can order any of their products because I am a dealer. And so I have in stock right now. Make sure you guys go to my website, all right? I have the, this is the 507C. Uh, this is for your pistol. Really, really popular right now. And then I also have the 510C in green. And then I have the 503, the 503G U Elite. All right. So I have those in stock now. Go on my website. And for the rest of this month, any orders over $75, I will be throwing in a free shirt. And if you join my email list right now, you will receive a 10% off coupon code. Uh, the 10% coupon code will be ending in at the end of this month. Excuse me, this month is April. So end of April, the coupon code will be ending. All right, so do you guys have any questions? Bonnie, yes, hollow sounds are really, really good. So I don't know if I told you guys, but I'll be going to the NRA annual meeting this year. Hey, Ghost, how are you? I will be going to NRA this year. So if there's any products that you guys want me to check out, let me know and I will check them out. I will be trying to knock out a good bit of videos. Um, if there's anything you guys want, let me know. I already have a couple of places that I will be checking out. Well, more than a couple, but... Yeah. Evergreen, Jason said, Co or Daniel Defense? Um, <sighs> I can't really afford the Daniel Defense, uh, but there's some really good products. And, oh, so I probably need to tell you guys this because I forgot to tell you so if you are if you've been I have a lot of new followers so I appreciate every single one of you if this is your first time joining please let me know this um the subject tonight was optics and we went over red dot and low power variable but if you guys um have been following me for a while I would love for you guys, no, 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 sorry guys. So if you're new, <laughs> sorry, if you're new, please let me know that you guys are new. If it's your first time joining, I appreciate you guys. Um, I have a lot of new followers, supporters, whichever one you are. If you're a supporter, I appreciate you. Um, oh, Scuba, that, that was you that asked. <laughs> Zipperback Reviews is on. Thanks for joining. Go check him out. He's awesome and he puts out some really good content. So go check him out. But if it's your first time joining, please let me know it's your first time. If you're new to my page, uh, feel free to send me a message. Feel free to comment. I try to get back to my messages. And if you're new, I also want to let you know some of the companies that I am partner with. So I am an affiliate for vault Safes. They have some of the best safes on the market. They have biometrics, a little bit of everything, and they just came out with their rifle safe. So if you are interested in getting a good quality safe, make sure that you check them out because they are great. And all these companies that I'm about to list off, they're awesome because if they were not awesome, I wouldn't be working with them, all right? So first was vault -Tec. Next is Palmetto State. If you have seen a good bit of my stuff, you will see that I really, really recommend their things. Even before I became an affiliate with them, I've been using their products for a very long time because they have good quality products and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money and have your husband or wife mad at you because you spend a whole bunch of money. You can spend a little bit of money and still get a good quality product. All right, guys. So Palmetto State. Even if it's ammo that you're looking for, if you're trying to build an AR, whatever it is, they got some really nice um, products. So go check them out. 
The link for all of these companies is going to be, well, it's already in my bio. And if you're watching the live on Facebook, I will, or if you're watching the live replay on YouTube, I will drop the links below. But yeah, I just wanted you guys to know that those are some of the companies that I'm working with. I just recently became an affiliate for Brownells. So if you need anything from Brownells, please let me know. I will post that link as well. And Sportsman's Guide. I am now an affiliate for them as well. So I do appreciate all these companies for allowing me to join the team. And if you need anything from them, please let me know. And I would love if you would assist in supporting me by using my link. All right. Let's see. Polynesian Outdoorsman. Hey, thank you for joining. Art right, said newbie here. <laughs> I appreciate you, Art. You have been supporting for a while. Um, Midway, no, I'm not an affiliate for Midway, but they do have some good products too. And if you're in the market for some 9 mil ammo, Palmetto still has a really good sale on it. I just picked up 2,000 rounds um, a few weeks ago. It is, sorry, about 79 Seven ninety nine for a box of 50 rounds of Fiocchi. So Fiocchi, really good quality brand. And go check them out, all right? Even if it's um, a part that you may need, a lower, upper, whatever it is, go check them out. Yes, so Brownells definitely sometimes has things that other places don't have. So if there's something that you guys are looking for, uh, I try to post some deals. So if you, and that's another thing, if you don't have post notifications on for me, please turn them on because sometimes I will post things and people will go, oh man, I never saw that. And it'll be like two or three weeks later and they're like, how did I ever miss this? But if you put post notifications on for me, you won't miss them because you'll get notified whenever I post. And especially like I just did the, uh, the giveaway and my one year giveaway and people were like I didn't even see the info about the giveaway and I was posting about the giveaway for a good solid three weeks so if you want to stay in the note and be able to catch some really good deals make sure that you put post notifications on all right and let me check out art two guns said Brownells has supp supplied my habit for a minute <laughs> that's funny Carrie Ann, thank you for joining and thank you for sharing. Um, my mother is on the live as well. Thank you so much for joining. Um, Magpul, yet. Yeah, I am definitely a fan of Magpul as well. All right, guys. So uh, if you have not checked out this week's episode of the Skips Tactical Solutions podcast, please go check it out. It is in all podcast players, and I would also appreciate it if you guys would share this video, but also share the podcast with your friends and family as well. Um, I appreciate it when you guys share, and I appreciate it when you guys leave ratings and reviews. And next week, I will definitely start to send different messages out um, across all my platforms, not messages, posts, I'll be posting about all of the reviews that I've received and I appreciate them. So I will start to highlight everyone that has left a review. So if you have not left a review, feel free to leave a review or leave um, a recommendation like on my Facebook page, on my website, whatever it may be, feel free to leave it and I will definitely make sure that I um, that I highlight them next week. I appreciate every single one of you for showing up. Um, talk to me Thursdays. So I have a little bit of bad news for you guys. I don't know if I want to share the bad news tonight. So talk to me Thursdays will be ending soon, probably within the next 30 days. And uh, I will probably be going towards something else. I do the podcast. I do the lives. And I want to make sure that you guys are getting a lot of good quality content. So I may stop doing the Talk To Me Thursdays and start to push out more review videos. So let me know what you guys want. 
Talk to Me Thursdays was a way for me to connect with you guys so you guys could see who I am, interact with me. <laughs> you guys are funny. Um, so that you guys could interact with me. I had a lot of people who would tell me um, that they would want to talk to the owner or they would want to talk to the instructor, and that's me. So there was no other way for you guys to get to know me and me to pour into you guys the knowledge that I had other than going live and giving you guys free content every single week. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you want me to keep doing the uh, Talk To Me Thursdays, which is this live Thursday, I just call it Talk To Me Thursday. But um, if you guys want me to keep doing them, let me know. But I just, I know I do also have a lot of requests for videos. So my podcast is now bi-weekly. So every two weeks I will have a podcast episode dropping and I definitely, definitely have a lot of good episodes lined up. So now it is every other week I'm doing, one week I'm doing a solo mini episode, then the next week I'm doing a interview. So if there's someone you guys want me to interview, let me know, or you can connect us. Let's see. Super back reviews. You're so funny. Heartbroken. Newcastle. No. Evergreen. Hashtag boss lady. Thank you. R2 Gun said maybe do a bi-weekly or once a month, but this is a good way to engage. It is a really good way to engage. Um, <clears throat> what I will be doing, though, is I'm starting my Patreon. I know you guys have probably heard me say this about one million times. I'll be starting my Patreon, and my Patreon subscribers will have more perks. Um, I guess the more money that they donate, the more perks that they'll have. So a part of those perks will be I will be doing more live videos with my Patreon subscribers, and they will probably be at least once a month. But, yeah, your girl is trying to figure some things out. And Newcastle said, any classes coming up? I will be putting out my new class schedule for the next three months within, I guess, the next week or so. But I do have some class, I mainly have private lessons for the rest of April. But if there is a class that you guys want or a private session, feel free to hit me up. I have a lot of private classes coming up. Um, Aaron said you should take your show on the road. <laughs> Taking my show on the road would require money. And I don't think I realized how much money it would take for some of this stuff. Like, I know you guys have seen um, my videos may have started to get better. <laughs> but it definitely takes quality equipment. Evergreen Jason said, very happy for you. Thank you so much. I do appreciate all you guys. I love when you guys engage with me. Um, when I post, I want you guys to comment. If there's a post that you guys want me to post, let me know and I'll post that. I just post things that I think you guys need to know. And I post um, things that I think you guys need to learn. Like, there's so much out there. And all of 2019, I'm focused on the basics. Um, I'm not trying to be someone that I'm not. I'm not trying to be anyone but me. So I'll show you guys how. I carry, I'll show you um, the way that I train, but a lot of the things that I do is in my daily job and uh, I don't really video any of that. Um, Evergreen Jason said, have I been to massage class? No, I have not. But this year is 10 years as an instructor. So, whew, that time flew by. I feel like an old lady now. Greenbox Media, hey, thank you for joining. Art said, streaming live is not for the faint of heart. It can be very time consuming. It is very time consuming. And I do appreciate you guys because I know that my first few videos, well, probably still though, uh, they were very hard. Um, not a lot of personality, but just getting used to being on the camera. Being on the camera is very, very hard. Very hard. Trolls are very stupid. 
Um, Aaron said, hope the PSA relationship is paying off for you. Um, Aaron, I want to tell you that I do appreciate your PSA order. I know that you said that you were going on to order. Um, I don't really see who orders, but I know sometimes you guys say that you're going to order something and then you guys go on and you order. So I do appreciate every single person that supports me by using an affiliate link because although you guys use those links already. If you're gonna purchase something, why not purchase it and help someone that you know or someone that you wanna support. So even if I'm only getting a dollar from your purchase, I do appreciate that, guys. Evergreen Jason said, must go incredible. Thank you for joining in class in October in Florida. If you're around my way, let me know. Block 43 on my hip right now. Stay safe out there, absolutely. Um, Greenbox Media said, what are your thoughts on constitutional open carry? Um, I'll just throw a quick thought in there in regards to constitutional carry. Um, I think a lot of people are not going to learn the laws attached to carrying a firearm. Um, there's a lot that's included in that. It's a huge responsibility. And if you do not have requirements attached to that which okay it's your right right but i feel like you need to go out and still gain some knowledge on that because if you don't know where you can carry what you should do what you shouldn't do because i have a lot of people who are like like here in florida you can care you can have your firearm let's say for instance applebee's right they have a bar area and then they have a and hold on let me caveat this with I'm not a lawyer all right <laughs> but here in Florida you can have you can carry your firearm and you can be in a restaurant that serves alcohol as well right but your primary purpose for there has to be and their primary um the establishment cannot be primarily for alcohol so say for instance Applebee's is not primarily for serving alcohol but they do have a bar and a lot of my students don't know that. They just think that if that place serves alcohol, that they can't take their gun in there. So you can take your firearm with you. You just have to make sure that you sit in the dining area and not at the bar. Even if you're by yourself, just go sit in the dining area, right? Because you definitely don't want to mix alcohol and firearms. But I think I'll definitely um, cover it more. I want to start to do things with just talking about those subjects because just because I can carry doesn't necessarily mean that I should carry. But then if I'm carrying, then I need to know where I can and cannot carry. And I think it's a slippery slope. I think a lot of people may end up getting in trouble because they just don't know. And laws change very regularly. And then you just need to be smart about getting educated. And I know here in Florida, if you're gonna carry, like you need to be very intimate with the statue. You need to know, and for me, I have the statue on my cell phone. It's on my home screen, so if I ever need to refer to it, it's right there. I'm not Googling anything. I'm going directly to the source. I'm going to the Florida statue to find my answer. And if you're carrying, you need to know where you need to find your answers because if you are going to the wrong place to find your answers, then you're getting the wrong answer and then you can possibly get in, in trouble. Yes, Evergreen Jason. I have that book as well. And I, I've i showed it here a few times. R said the misconception about Constitution carry is that the existing laws don't apply. Still need to know what the laws are. Yes. So even if, and I just urge you guys, if you, uh, if your state did not have any requirements for you to meet in order to carry again, and when I say requirements, I don't mean like the age requirements. I mean like steps that you had to go through as far as taking a class or passing a, a certain course of fire if it didn't have that i need you to still go out there and get trained because if you don't know and you're not confident when you pull that gun out there's a possibility that it may be used against you so know your why and just listen to my podcast episode this week know your why and your why will help you when it comes to having to spend money when it comes to get trained your why will help you when it comes to a lot of different things but Stay safe. You want to make sure that you're carrying a gun and that you're legal. But yeah, custom, 
constitutional carry, I mean, it's your right. Um, but I think there will be people who will possibly get in trouble just because they don't know the laws. And for me, I def like even um, here in Florida, if you're active duty or prior military, you just have to show your proof of service. And just because someone served doesn't mean that they're proficient in a firearm. And I really don't agree with that. So that's just setting us up to possibly get in trouble because we pull out our gun and it's like, oh, well, I didn't know that I couldn't pull out my gun for this. And I didn't know that I had to keep my gun properly secured or properly in case, securely encased. And that's how bad things happen. But on that note, that's just my opinion. And I really appreciate you guys for joining. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, please comment below, share it, and share the video. Um, Facebook, you can be entered to win a free shirt. And this week's winner was Jennifer Helmick. <laughs> but um, I appreciate you guys for joining each and every week. If you have not checked out this week's episode, please feel free to check out this week's episode of the Skip's Tactical Solutions Podcast. It is a solo mini episode. And if you have not checked out my website, please check out my website, which is skipstacticalsolutions.com. And next week, I will be coming to you, and it will be the week before NRA. So next week, we will have Talk to Me Thursday, but the week after that, I'm not quite sure if I'll have it because I will be at the NRA annual meeting. But I appreciate you guys for joining. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me below. And that's it for this week's episode of Talk To Me Thursday. Have a good week, guys.